Recently, you may have seen a headline, something like this, 70 million year old dinosaur fossil could help us unlock cancer treatments. Now, it's 2025 and we've all seen wild claims put in media, so naturally I was skeptical. Sounds like classic clickbait, right? But then I did some research, so you don't have to. And it turns out it's not only true, it's mind blowing. Let's break it down. Meet Telmatosaurus Translovanicus, a dwarf duckbilled dinosaur from what is now Romania. This little herbivore died 70 million years ago, but its jawbone, well, that's where the story starts. A weird bulge on its face had been sitting unnoticed in a museum collection for years. That lump wasn't damaged, it was a tumour, and I mean a real tumour. Diagnosed using micro CT scans, basically the same tech doctors use to diagnose humans, but just way more powerful. The diagnosis? An ameloblastoma, a benign tumour we still see today in humans, reptiles and even mammals. And now dinosaurs. This is huge because it confirms something we've only theorised before. The cellular machinery that causes cancer today has ancient roots. We're not just dealing with modern diseases, we're dealing with an evolutionary legacy. Think about it. A disease process that predates humanity by tens of millions of years, still active and still very dangerous. This is paleopathology. It's not just about broken bones, it's about diagnosing diseases from deep time. And suddenly a 70 million year old fossil isn't just a relic, it's a medical case study. Now to clarify, an ameloblastoma isn't cancer, it's non-malignant, but it belongs to a broader category called neoplasia, abnormal growths of tissue. And this is the first ever confirmed facial tumour found in a dinosaur fossil. And that's a big deal, because fossilization almost never preserves this kind of detail, so when it does, it's like nature accidentally left us a message, one that sort of says, this thing we're fighting today, well, it's always been here. And here's where it gets even more fascinating. These tumours aren't random. The fact that it was found in a duck-billed dinosaur suggests this whole group, so hadrosaurs, might have had a genetic predisposition to tumours. Maybe something in their DNA, diet, or even the environment made them more vulnerable. Even though the tumour wasn't likely fatal, it may have made the dinosaur look and behave differently, possibly making it an easier target for predators. Because in nature, looking a little off can mean the difference between life and death. Stick around for part two, where we're going to see how this might help us in our cancer treatments.